No, uh, we are putting the glass in this puppy today, and I've already got three in it. <laughs> before before I realized, I better turn the camera on just in case somebody wants to see what I'm doing and uh, and apply it to something that they're working on. Uh, I appreciate all the input that I got as far as what to use, but after doing a ton of research online yesterday, what I decided to go with was some Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. I've got no hazing whatsoever, and it's really, really easy to work with. And I forget who initially told me about this, but I greatly appreciate it. This was the way to go. And so what I'm going to do now is we're going to put the windshield in uh, to, to, to button up both front and rear. The rear's already in it. We're going to put the windshield in, and I'll show you just how easy this stuff is to work with. Now, the only thing that I'm going to have to do a little bit different is my windshield has got a little bit of a twist in it. So when I sit it down in there, the corner over here... And this corner here, they kind of want to rise. So I may have to tape them down just to get everything to set up and stay in there like it needs to be. What we're going to do, we're going to lay this stuff in between these holes, not in the holes themselves, all the way around, real light bead. And uh, here we go. It's been really easy to work with so far. A little dab in the corner. And up. Up again. Watch this will be the one I screw up on. I'm going to put a little bit more in the corner than normal. Because that's one of the spots that uh, that gives me a little bit of trouble. Then go through here. Now, I'll probably have to hold it for just a little while. A little bit in that hole there. A little bit more in this corner. Also. Now, we got it ready to go. So, I'm going to take this piece of tape here. I'll get my hands out of the way in a minute, fellas. I promise you. I'm going to set that on there so to hold it down right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this corner over here because this was the other one. And... That's that. And now all I'm going to do is just let me look and make sure I'm just going to hold it somewhat in there just for a few to get it to initially bite. And then I'm going to get out of the way. All right. That's laid down in there good. So the winter, I'm going to leave these pieces of tape on there for about 15 minutes just to just to set my heart at ease but as you can see that window just is set in there pretty easy there's no uh hazing and these two side windows back here hoping you can tell that i put them in there but no hazing there either and on the back windshield get the other two on there i can get the body mounted tonight i'll figure the mounting out this evening and then i'll just cut a video in the next day or so about how it's mounted and also get the interior in it. But, all right, fellas, now we're going to lay these last two windows in over here. And uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is I found that there's some of the holes on these. I'm going to hope, hope this picks it up. The holes that fit on those tabs are just a little bit tight. So I'm going to take a drill bit that is just maybe a sixteenth bigger than that and just barely work them through. I'm in the shot I may I may not be yeah because some of their molding I found a couple of these holes still had a little bit of slag in them so not only is this going to make it easier for these to actually fit it's going to clean up any of that slag so we don't have an issue but now we're going to take a little bit of glue and I'm going to let me apologize if that camera's shaking it's because I've got the shot a little bit tighter and uh, it's on the tripod so I'm doing all I can to keep it to keep it uh, still, but right again, so we're just going to lay it around a little bit in the corner there. Put the cap back on. This stuff here works. This is amazing. Now, it was a little pricey. That was $8 for that tube, and it was bought at Walmart, of all places. But, uh, man, talk about something that's easy to work with. And I want to hold it down as best I can. I get my hand, get one hand out of the way. And just hold pressure on it for maybe 30 seconds or so. And uh, and then we should be able to move on and go to the next window. 
after that, all the window glasses in, we're going to put the handles on that side the mirror. And this body is just about done. And look, Ed, I've seen a lot of people talking about they're following this thing. I really appreciate you guys following this, following this build. And I'm looking forward to doing a lot more of these hard bodies because I love the hard body side of this, of this hobby. Lexan is good. It has its purposes. But to me, hard bodies are where it's at. This is the first one I've had in a long time. I've built a lot of the uh, Trail Finder 2 Mojave bodies and put them on SCX 10s in the past. And, uh, but now I just, I don't know. I just kind of like the hard body thing and I'm going to do as many as I can. I got a few more planned and, uh, I don't want to discuss those right now, but as soon as I can get those here, um, after I get the rest of these running and pick up another chassis or two, uh, for crawlers, we will start doing some more of this hard body stuff. Now she's in there. And she's rock solid. So we're going to move on and do this next one. And the same thing. I'm not going to put the two side windows in it. And I'll, I'll explain why. I mean, it's kind of stupid, I guess. But it's just me. Oh, man. Now, here we go. Again, huge shout out to whoever it was that turned me on to this crap right here. Cause all right, here we go. Last piece. Right here, right now. Boom. See you in there. And again, I'm just going to hold this for 15, 30 seconds. So let me get this thing set up, flip her over, and we'll make that last piece that I want to try to make. Still have to put the tail lights in it, but... There's a reason why they're not in there at the moment. So, I got to mount the interior and get the body set up on its mounts to be permanent. So, it looks pretty good. But is it really done? Pace that has irked the living shit out of me ever since I started building this thing and getting it close to being done. Uh, if you guys are out there and you have these rigs, have these XJs, you lucky SOBs. You have. There is one thing, if you take that truck off-road, that I feel like every off-road vehicle needs to have. And that is some kind of radio communication. So, with that being said, I want to build a small mount for a simulated 102-inch stainless steel whip. This actually has been donated by the Sand Scorcher. So I'm going to make a mount out of styrene. Shouldn't take but a few minutes, hopefully, if I'm if I'm right. What I'm going to do is build like a little small box tab that comes off that would mount to the side of the truck. And we're going to use a scrap piece of styrene right there. I don't know what the exact thickness is, but it's thick a daggum enough. And we're going to cut it with this mamma jamma right here. Now this thing here I bought. Uh, for working on boats, but it also, it does real well for cutting, you know, exact angles on this styrene stuff. And as you can see, hopefully the camera will pick it up. It's got all kinds of different uh, pre, pre-noted pre uh, angles there. So you can set up for 45, 60, 75, 90, you know, up to 135 degrees. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to use. And this is about how damn simple it's going to be. So I'm going to take this in. I'm going to sit it there. I'm going to try to get my line, my blade, just as close to that corner as I can right there. And it just cut it off. And it spits out a perfect little triangle. Okay, so we got two. It's going to be for the edges, or for the both ends. And so I need to cut one more piece just as a lidge. Try to cut the square as close to the square as possible. There we go. And so this should fit right on the tippy top, just like that right there. You see it? Okay. So you get the gist. So what I want to do, let me let me glue all this up and then we'll go from there. All right, so body's laying on the side. And so I made that piece. And so I've got it attached now. Just gonna let it dry overnight. So close. Mount the interior, mount the body. Yeah, I got my antenna on there. Hard to see against all that crap I got on the wall back here, but it's there. And 
like I said, mount the interior and then run the mounts from the body down to the chassis. Catch y'all later.